What's up guys, my name is Alan and in today's video, we're going to learn how to create our very own custom sign up for your Wix website. That's right. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a custom login and a custom sign up that isn't only going to ask the user for their email, password and sign up. In today's example, we have JW Health out in Alberta. Uh, they do private health care. <laughs> and in this case, they simply did not want the basic sign up form, which said, hey, what's your email? What's your password? They needed a little bit more information from the user when they clicked on login. So if you look at their example, it says, hey, we're glad you're here, which is totally customized compared to the sign up. We have a little bit of a description, which is different. And then we have different fields, name, email, phone number, display. Uh, email address and a unique password. So I'm going to show you guys how to create your very own form uh, that will apply to your whole site. And if you are looking for an individual to personally work on your custom sign up form, I'm more than available for hire. You can reach out to me versus uh, at the Wix marketplace. Uh, but without further delay, let's go ahead and get right into it. So first thing we want to do is go to our Wix dashboard. So go to Wix.com, log in, and you'll most likely be introduced to your Wix dashboard. From here, you want to go ahead and click on edit site, or some of you might actually have quick actions at the bottom. So just hover over quick actions and click on edit site. Regardless, uh, we want to go ahead and open up our project inside the editor. So the editor is where and, and, and the location we basically design our website. Finally, we're ready to get started. So first thing we want to do is on the left hand side, click on pages and menus. From here, you'll notice setup. Uh, sign up and login. So let's go ahead and click on sign up and login and you'll notice two options. We can customize the sign up form and we can customize the login form. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to work within one of these forms and then you can just apply what you've learned to either the login or either to the sign up. It doesn't matter. By default, you'll notice that if you want to get started with creating your own custom login experience, you'll want to click on this little drop down and, and select custom form. So let's go ahead and click on custom form and this little custom form will come up. Voila, we're now in the editor. So from here, we just want to, there's, there's a little toggle here called Lightbox. I like to move it kind of right down here to the bottom right, just so I can kind of see my screen. And within this little layout here, you most likely know how to use Wix. It, it's, a, it's a blank editor, it's a canvas. What you see, you can grab and, and you can kind of move it anywhere you like. In this case, I want to go ahead and grab this little X and move it right about here. And then I want to go ahead and do two things. First of all, the form is going to be within this box. So you can stretch this box a little further and then within the form, there's little fields. So you can move this field here, you can move this field here, and then there's an email and password field and a submit button. By default, you're always going to have the email field, you're always going to have the password field, and you're always going to have the submit field. You don't always have to have, for example, join our community field, you can delete that, but you do need the uh, already a member login field. So one of the cool things is that we, we want to go ahead and be able to customize what's inside this box. So once we customize what's inside this box, that then becomes our login, or in this case, our sign up. So let's do the following. How do we, first of all, add fields to this? So we can go ahead and simply left click anywhere within this box. And we have a couple options, form settings and add a new field. So let's go ahead and click add a new field. And then voila. So we already have the login. We already have the password. We have things such as terms and checkbox, join our community, privacy policy code. But I think most of you are gonna wanna actually go under this option right here, which is uh, member fields, maybe email, maybe phone number, uh, multi-address, or if you wanna create a totally custom login experience, you'll wanna use the basic fields by simply adding a short text field, which is just a blank field that lets people um, fill out anything you want in this box. And then as you can see, if I simply click within the box again, click on add field, I can go ahead and back to basic field and start adding other fields such as a lawn field or a checkbox or a drop down menu or really any of the options here. So the point is, is that within this little member uh, box here, I can go ahead and simply add as many fields as I like. I can even add upload feature. I can add a signature feature. Um, there's a lot of really cool things you can do here. So now that we know how to add um, fields uh, into this specific box, how do we then maybe rename some of the fields? How do we uh, move them around? How do, how do we kind of put it together? So let's do this. So we have the name field and we have the last name field. And then we also have one that we just added, which was a blank field. Any field that you click on, you can uh, click on edit field, and then you can go ahead and see the field options. In this case, I can rename this to say, 
um, create unique login name. And then voila, the user can then understand what this is about. And then uh, when they're in a live site, which we'll test together, you can always test your sign up form by simply clicking preview on the top right hand corner. So if you click on preview on the top right hand corner, you'll be able to kind of see uh, how exactly it behaves and uh, in front of the user. So let's go ahead and click back to editor right here. And let's go ahead and kind of see how we can start maybe making this look pretty. So what we want to do is we can basically add anything within this whole white area and that's what the user will see. So in our example for JW Health, uh, when you click on login, you'll notice that I took the time to create a field, I created another field, another field, another field, I added some text and then I added an image on the left hand side. So with a little bit of creativity, you can really create an awesome field. So an awesome login. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop back to this editor, expand it a little bit. Within this box that pops up, there's always going to be a toggle on the left hand side. And your best friend is going to be this little function called add element. From here, you can simply go ahead and add text. So we can grab this text, drag it into this form. And then voila, now we have text here. Um, this little sign up um, text right here, I can move it maybe to the left, I can double click it, um, I can justify it to the left, I can change the font if I really wanted to, to something a little better, I could even make the font smaller to maybe 30, I could rename it, say, uh, create an account, I could also change the color which is really cool. So we know that the Wix editor lets us basically create anything we like. So this little text area that we added, I'm gonna align it to the left here. I'm gonna make the box a little bit larger. I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna make this maybe 15. And then I'm gonna change the text. And I can go ahead and grab these little fields and kind of align them to the left, grab them here to the left, grab this right here. I can make it smaller, I can make it larger. Um, and I can go ahead and start just basically creating uh, visually what I want for my login system. Now, maybe an image would be really nice. So let's go ahead and click on add. Let's go ahead and click um, image. Let's go ahead and upload. Maybe we can grab this little image right here. And then we can just drag this image right here, right beside the login. So it, what we'll have to do here is that you obviously, I, I obviously recommend you get a professional designer such as myself or, or hire somebody such as myself to create this custom login experience. You've probably seen many beautiful logins uh, on the internet, probably looking at competitors. Uh, no different for them. They obviously had that selected designer, but we basically just want to tidy this area up. So I'm just going to go ahead and tidy this up by grabbing this little box. Ultimately, we're going to be working within this little box and adding all of our content to this little box. So again, if I want to add more fields, I simply click here, add a field, and then just continue adding basic fields. And I'll, I'll just continue adding it to my contact form till ultimately I'm happy with what I see. And that's basically it. So <laughs> this video isn't really that long and it really isn't that complicated. Um, the idea is, if you have an online store, if you have Wix bookings, if you have um, Wix blog or, or even Wix stores, it doesn't really matter what product you have. 99% of the time when you click on menus and pages, you will have an option that says sign up and login. And then from here, you'll be able to choose how the login looks and then how the custom um, form looks, the sign up. And by default, it's always going to say default. So you want to go ahead and click on it, click on custom form, and then you'll be able to go ahead and work within your custom form. Now, there's a couple interesting options. When you click on your form one more time and click on settings, you'll have an option that says, hey, when the user first visits your website, do you want to show them the sign up form first or the login form first? This is really, really cool because Sometimes if you launch a brand new website, you may just want to always show the sign up form because you're just trying to gather users. But if your website has been around for a long time, you may just want to show up your login and then then create your own custom login. Again, this video is pretty self explanatory. What I really recommend everybody to do right away is to create a really amazing user experience. So some of the things I don't like when I'm kind of using a website that makes me sign up is having to click I'm not a robot or trying to figure out the dots of the of the images they're trying to show me. So there's something called uh, Kapacha sign up and login. By default, 
it's gonna it's gonna have always what I recommend is the following if you're worried about bots and spam you can go ahead and select for suspicious bots only which is recommended meaning that if someone's trying to log into your website and it looks like spam it'll ask them a robot question um, and then there's another option that says hey make them confirm uh, their email address so again for me I don't like to limit people uh, my users but it's totally up to you so this will apply to every uh, user um, to your website so uh, remember really cool options uh, confirm their email after they sign up or during setup really cool options just make sure to hit the save button at the top right and um, again when it comes to design ultimately this is a design play because actually creating a custom login experience is going to be based on your needs as your project, whether again, you just want some information uh, or whether you just want to have a basic login feature. So you can go ahead and play with this all you want. I will answer every single one of your questions in the comment box below. Um, and if you're looking for some great inspiration, definitely reach out to me. I can help you. And again, I am available for hire on the Wix Marketplace. And if you're looking for help with any other Wix related content, whether it's SEO or Google My Business, definitely check out some of my other uh, video because again, I create videos absolutely free so you guys can learn. And individuals just usually will reach out to me if they look at my videos and say, hey, Alan, you know what? I saw your video. I don't got time to do it. Can you just help me do it? And uh, that's kind of how I work also. So hope this video has helped. Um, again, I'll be answering all the questions in the comment box below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And this is how to create a stunning login for your Wix website.